Good. This is a, a full spine uh, reading off of a, a patient that uh, was taken on the first visit. The uh, information here can be easily transferred, uh, as you've seen before, into a bar graph representation. The patients actually, uh, um, as I said earlier, will pick up on the bar graph uh, representation of the information here much faster than, uh, than just the, the line graphs. So they'll pick up on that uh, um, pretty readily. As I said, the, uh, the children actually will pick up on it faster than the adults, but uh, it is actually a really good tool here. You can also display this versus the anatomical chart uh, and uh, the correlate between, um, like in a report of findings uh, scenario, you could correlate between uh, areas of possible symptomatology and uh, areas of thermographic uh, uh, readings here. So it's a very helpful tool that way as well. Um, right back to the lines again. So if we take a look at, go back in here, if we take a look at the post check, you'll see that uh, the characteristic of this line and then again the characteristic of the bar graph is uh, quite a bit improved, um, especially in the area uh, down below in the pelvis, and there's a good reason for that. The correction made uh, on this particular patient on this day was done for uh, demonstration purposes, and uh, the only correction made on the, on the patient that day was at the pelvis. So you can see that even though you're uh, adjusting one area of the spine, you can see all of the other areas have uh, calmed down quite a bit here as far as thermography. Now, I must uh, reiterate that we do post-rest the patients, so the patients are rested for uh, 15 minutes uh, between these, uh, these two readings. So it's very simple for people to get the correlation. Uh, okay, this is me before, and now this is me after. And in 15 minutes, you can show a visual um, demonstration of progress. It's very helpful, helpful that way. We take another patient. And look at, you have a pre post and overlay. So you've got the post here is represented, or excuse me, pre is uh, represented here in green, post is in yellow. Uh, we can turn that information into bar graph. Uh, this particular patient's uh, symptoms uh, primarily were uh, cervical pain and uh, decreased range of motion uh, was the primary uh, complaint. So we've made the adjustment and then the patient has rested and you can see pre and post how well things are, uh, are progressing just in a matter of uh, one visit. So it is uh, extremely helpful for people to understand uh, not only that maybe that their symptoms are subsiding and range of motion may be improving, but you can show them visually how well things are working out for them.